Hi, and welcome to this month's editorial video focusing on Metasearch. If you haven't already read the article from Jan Valentin, make sure to check that out. Jan has offered quite an interesting perspective on Meta, especially in today's climate. Also, in our podcast this month, we have Pablo Delgado joining us with Jens Engelmalm and also Cassian Sillens. So make sure you check that out as well. So a Metasearch engine aggregates potential bookers' search results into a list of real-time websites that compare hotel prices and availability based on their desired destination in the search. A good Metasearch strategy combines the digital marketing and distribution efforts of a hotel and also presents a booking channel and an online environment to advertise the hotel. This offers the booker the opportunity to compare hotel room rates from various booking channels, even the hotel's direct channel, which we did speak about in last month's editorial. However, this is typically dominated by third-party booking sites such as OTAs and historically hotels by not representing themselves have of course missed the opportunity of capturing more direct bookings. Metasearch engines represent a great way for hotels to show up in these channels in the most prominent position, whilst also giving an instant price comparison that's easy to use. Advertising on hotel Metasearch engines provides an excellent opportunity for hotels to reach a much wider number of potential bookers. This is due to the fact that many bookers or guests turn to these online platforms to look at reviews, accommodation offerings, and also compare prices before they hit the book now button. We've seen over the last 12 months that when bookings have come to hotels, the direct channel has been showing strong signs. So by advertising on Metashirt's engines, this gives a hotel even greater opportunity to maximize that channel. And as we covered last month, this means that hotels will not pay those painful commissions to OTAs or give up on the guest data. Hoteliers face the same challenges that are related to the higher cost of bookings when coming from the OTA. So with a good Metasearch campaign, hotels can position themselves in all the right areas, such as increasing brand awareness, minimizing distribution costs, increasing direct bookings, decreasing OTA reliance, and attracting new guests and also the critical data that comes with them. Different channels offer different strengths and weaknesses, so adopting a cross-channel approach is a sound strategy for maximizing the potential of Metasearch. Depending on the destinations the booker is interested in, there generally is one channel that performs best in all situations. Machine learning also can help manage the large scope of data coming from the different channels and decide on the best bids in the shortest amount of time. Without an automated solution, this optimization would be almost impossible to perform. Let's consider some general recommendations when it comes to establishing a successful relationship with Metasearch platforms. Having up-to-date information such as location, detailed descriptions, high quality pictures, full contact information all play a very important role in that first impression of a hotel's brand identity. You don't want the booker to be confused with different rates on the Metasearch and also on your website. A hotel's ranking in most Metasearch platforms also depends on the accuracy of the provided information. So it is very important that a hotel's rates are updated. Encouraging guests to write a few words about their experience is also a good habit to get into because positive reviews show other potential future bookers the hotel is trustworthy. It's also important to respond to the reviews people do leave, good or bad, as this shows that the hotel managers care about the guests' feedback, whatever that may be. Working with a review management company can help to stay on top of the various channels reviews can be left on and also can process them accordingly. Well, it's not an accident that we covered internet booking engines in last month's editorial because a modern booking engine will ensure that a smooth and easy booking experience can be had by your future guests. Hotels shouldn't overlook the importance of an SEO or neglect to work on the keywords and overall content of their hotel website, landing page and posted ads. If necessary, partner with an agency to help you get started. 
Let's go to Cassian Sillins now and see what he has to say about Meta. Meta search engines are essentially aggregators that will aggregate results from a, a variety of different uh, websites uh, where they will refer leads onto other sites. Um, and in travel that is predominantly OTAs, um, other aggregator sites, and you can put there that uh, Meta or Meta or other uh, kind of uh, wholesale uh, OTAs, and of course, supply direct websites. Um, uh, in other words, they are marketplaces of aggregators for travel content, um, websites, uh, apps, um, and they are, they, are, they are fully kind of across all of those uh, uh, mediums and, and platforms. And when it comes to travel components, they, they have a feature mainly on flights uh, as a vertical, hotels. Uh, you can include also as a separate or integrated vertical vacation rentals, so holiday homes car rental, uh, packages, uh, cruises, even tours and activities, trains, and, and, and some are aggregating more and more restaurants as well. Um, example brands, of course, where probably 90% of uh, all um, accommodation meta search is, is held by four, the four main ones, Google, Kayak, um, and all of uh, Kayak's brands, Trivago and TripAdvisor. You could include Skyscanner as well in there. And then you have um, some very large growing um, holiday home uh, meta search sites such as home to go and Holidu. And if you look at a regional level, there are a lot of uh, smaller local players like Liligo in France, Kuna in, in Asia Pacific, uh, Wego in the Middle East, uh, even Find Hotel up in the Netherlands and, and Pika down in Australia as well. But all looking to kind of refer on leads, uh, so customers and clients onto um, to book a hotel at the end of the day, not just a hotel, all other kind of uh, travel components. First of all, um, a hotel would need an API connection into the meta searches, um, and this typically has to be into uh, the hotelier's uh, booking engine. So this could come through a variety of different ways from a tech provider. So it could come through your ch channel manager, it could come through your CRS, even POMS, or directly into your booking engine, where ARI, so availability rate in the inventory, can be fed directly from the um, hotel to the meta search site. Um, that's one element of, of, of a connectivity uh, option for, for, for hoteliers into MetaSearch. Uh, the other is, and some of these tech providers provide it, but some others don't, is, a, a, is access into a Meta Manager. And what these Meta Managers essentially do is offer the algorithms and the um, technology for uh, hoteliers to bid um, whether it is for their brand or price management or in general competing against whether it is similar comp sets or OTAs themselves to, 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 to gain um, uh, direct bookings. Um, and globally, you could probably um, fix on six main meta managers whose expertise kind of shine in this area to help with your bid management on meta search sites and visibility. Um, one being uh, Whips Meta.io based out of Paris and also Miami. Another one being Cody out of the US. Um, Ad Hotel uh, based out of Venice um, also has a very good global outreach. Mirai uh, similarly out of Spain. My Hotel Shop focusing on the uh, German speaking uh, countries in Europe and Derbysoft out of APAC. Um, all of these provide great technology for hoteliers of all sizes, independent, small groups, large hotel chains, to manage their um, bid strategy and gain uh, direct bookings, uh, which of course is a very big uh, focus this year and, and moving onwards. I think number one, definitely, um, because from my experience, I, I, I see many hoteliers aren't actually using this technology is, is, is get onto one of the meta managers. Um, the technology that these guys have, the, 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 the up to dateness in terms of, you know, and uh, keeping up with the product changes, for example, with Google is phenomenal. And it will help hoteliers to boost their ROI, 
increase conversion rates onto their uh, booking sites, gain market share out uh, from the OTAs, and in general, um, you know, increase their visibility online. So that would be my first tip. Um, the second tip would be, you know, protect and control your best or cheapest price because whilst you could be, um, you know, a property in Vegas uh, that could quite easily compete uh, at a $10 or $15 CPC uh, level with say uh, some of the large OTAs, that is not uh, possible for the vast majority. And whilst meta search sites do um, preference uh, cheapest price amongst their algorithms, um, you know the, the, your ability to protect and and and, and push out the cheapest price uh, onto meta will will mean that you can have a lower cost per acquisition and higher ROI for yourself. So it, it comes down to kind of onward distribution and controlling your onward distribution. Um, maintaining and uh, being picky and choosy where you put your best price and cheapest price is, is crucial. Um, and number three, um, and Meta gets a, a hard time, uh, but embrace Meta Search because the, the, ex the original model of Meta Search uh, initially just referring or clicking out to third party websites is, is, is changing. It's been changing over the last few years. Um, it's been accelerated over the last 12 years whilst the engineering teams of all of these meta search sites like Kayak, like Google have been concentrating on product enhancements. Um, and they're doing things like uh, focusing in on um, uh, weekend uh, activities and, and excursions, extra verticals that can bring more cross-selling traffic to hotels. Um, even uh, booking direct on uh, some of these uh, websites. So um, embrace it, have a strategy. Uh, it doesn't need to be complex, um, but definitely it is something to keep uh, an eye on and help you grow your your global outreach as um, you know the recovery happens and, and, and we get back to some form of normality. Meta search engines get their revenue from advertising and redirecting users to partner websites to complete the booking process. The typical cost model is CPC, cost per click, or PPC, pay per click. This means a hotel is charged every time the ad is clicked and a redirection occurs. This gives maximal flexibility and control over spendings as it can be frequently updated but it doesn't guarantee return and does create an expense before revenue is even generated. When posting ads, inventory suppliers can bid for ad placements and compete with other advertisers for higher ranking in search results. So hotels set the maximum price they're willing to pay for, having an ad displayed at the top position. When a related keyword is searched, the publisher runs a real-time auction to determine the order of listings. Generally, the bigger the bid is, the higher the ad ranks. Of course, other factors are taken into account, such as ad relevance and landing page quality. And that's where it gets complicated and risky, because if hotels bid too low, their position will drop. But if they bid too high, the gains they're getting might not be worth the price. And of course, the big OTAs are also bidding with entire teams managing their marketing strategy. So winning top position really is quite a challenge. That's where you need to monitor the market and your competitors' activity and dynamically adjust the bidding. If done right, hotels can get a significant return on investment. Today, many large travel platforms act both as a meta search engine and OTA. This allows for instant booking within the same environment. In this case, a CPA, cost per acquisition model, is also available. Here, a commission or percentage of reservation value is charged only if the booking is made through an ad or listing. It can reduce the risk of inefficient spending as advertisers pay on performance only. However, since a commission rate can't be adjusted as easily as in the CPC model, there is less flexibility in reacting to possible changes and less influence on the placement of the listing. Another model adopted by meta search engines with booking capabilities is pay per stay, PPS. And this is a fixed commission paid only for actual guest stays. And of course, there are various hybrid models that take into consideration all of the options. Being connected to the biggest channels doesn't necessarily mean you get all the action. 
When talking about meta search websites, the obvious ones are, of course, Google, TripAdvisor, Trivago, Hotels Combined, Skyscanner, and Kayak. These channels have been in the market now for a long time and are very recognizable brands. The meta search world, however, does not end with only those options. There's also Allstay, Wego, Hotelscan, StayMogul, or even Idealo. These smaller channels shouldn't be ignored just because they may be unknown or not in your region. It could be easy to overlook regional channels and not include them in a hotel's marketing strategy. These regional channels tend to have a strong presence due to their geographical location and can be a source of additional revenue opportunities. Thanks for watching and as always, thanks for your support. Make sure you also check out our IBE and direct distribution editorial from last month as this can tie nicely in with this month's issue. Until next time, it's bye for now.